Here we are in week two of our Minnesota Vikings online franchise, and we are going to be against the 0-1 Philadelphia Eagles, uh, led by Rod, who is a pretty damn good Madden user. Obviously, you could see in the division, uh, Bears are 0-2. We could join them, or we could be uh, the the odd one out and be 1-1. One one. It's going to be a tough matchup, but let's take a look at the players of the week. Of course, if offense was counted by kick returning, there's a good chance we would have probably wanted two kick returns for touchdowns is almost impossible to uh, replicate. And then on the NFC defensive side of the list, the the Rams looking really good with both sides. But Anthony Johnson in general, two interceptions, a fumble, and a touchdown. Obviously, the Ravens winning those awards as well. It's just a really good week for both teams. We're obviously 29th in offense. A lot of teams have played, in fairness. Uh, you know, we haven't played yet, and we're about to right now. But let's take a look at the team real quick. Look at our opponent's team, see if he had any changes, see if he had any injuries, and call it there. The morale is already down, which is great. It's literally one week, guys. Relax. Uh, but, of course, definitely got to get Justin Jefferson involved as he didn't even get a single catch. Booth has a upgrade point, which is nice. Dantzler is going to be on a short leash, especially after adding David Long from free agency. I'm not really sure why he was a free agent, but you never know. He could literally be a long-term guy for us if he got a breakout I mean, 24 years old, gets to like a 78 because of the XP, star dev. A, a 78 overall star dev corner at 24 years of age is definitely, definitely usable, uh, considering that's what Dantzler is. Uh, and, ah, Daniil Hunter, hurt in practice. Sweet, dude. Oh, that's great. And then his side, Fletcher Cox is injured with a dislocated elbow. And uh, Tolson, a speedy linebacker, I believe, injured. So, he loses Cox. We lose. <laughs> Hopefully he finds it. I know every man we we don't want to lose it, uh, but uh, and we lose Hunter. Kind of a fair trade, I guess. So I mean, it is what it is. And then for Booth, we go with a slot upgrade, which hopefully gives us a speed, and it doesn't. But an Excel is also pretty good, anyways. Let's hop into it. Monday night prime time in Philadelphia. A game that. Hopefully leads to less than 10 total interceptions both sides. The sliders have changed a little bit since last game. Uh, I believe the pass accuracy sliders went up like 5. The pass blocking sliders up 10. And uh, we'll find out how much of a change that makes to both of our sides. Because he also did not have a great week 1. Had a bunch of interceptions with Jalen Hurts. And I don't know. I think he was able to still score a lot more on offense than we were. But Mon didn't really make terrible plays. We were just kind of too conservative with the ball so there's that the track star Allen on the return looking pretty decent gets it to the 20 now it's his turn to get out there and work and even though Wanham can't uh, really pass rush too well and he's not very fast he's about to be in coverage first play all right Kendricks two interceptions week one Sanders could be running of course pretty damn good offensive line still here in Philly it's a good cutback, and we can't tackle for crap. He's going to gain 10, and now another player is hurt. Uh, this time an offensive lineman. Of course, looking like he's going to try to get that freebie. I didn't even look at his roster, actually. And there is reason to look, because he actually has changed the roster quite a bit. Obviously, Jalen Rager's on our team now. Uh, oof, abdominal tear for Landon Dickerson. Uh, you know, Jalen Rager's on our team now. Uh, what is it called? He traded Quez Watkins off. There might have even been more, so... Just throwing that uh, information out there. And he's still running the ball. And good defense by Wanham. Gain of nothing. Three wide receivers out. He could still end up throwing the ball or running the ball here. But we're just going to bet on him not doing that. And that's a pretty good throw. And he gets it in there. What a dot. How in the world? 34 yards. What a throw. That was a throw and a half. Kendricks was on it. thought maybe with Lurker he would have had a chance. But... Unfortunately, could not. Harrison Smith are going to be bringing him up a little bit. And good shot right in there. Only a gain of one. Kendricks did a pretty damn good job there to cover down the field. It just, the throw was better. It was a really good throw. It's not really much that could have been done. We really should be using Bolden here. And yeah, it's a good cutback. Gainwell gains about seven. You bring in some pressure here. The speed of Allen. Screen pass. And he throws it up. Perfect coverage by Kendricks. A fourth and two that he may go for. And he doesn't. He kicks the field goal. We actually got to stop. Kicks it off to the side. We're going to still return it with Nwangwu. Oh, shot to the knee. That's a big hit to the 21. Still slightly further than he got. That's a win. 
That's a win for this team, I'll tell you. First play looking for Irv. Could be looking for Jalen. All right. And we can't even throw it away. Good job. My tight end died. Nice. Good route, dude. All right. Can't run the ball because we've been sacked early. And there goes the tight end. Speaking of, nice little spin. Irv still not going down. Yeah, nice little fancy pants stuff. Doesn't really do a whole lot, but gains about 10. Out routes. Got five linemen down here, which is a little confusing. And that's Justin Jefferson. If he didn't get that right foot down, dude, that right foot legitimately looked out. And I, I honestly don't know how that they called that. I really thought that was out, and it wasn't. Let's go Pat Slants. This is interesting. Throw it away. Waited a little long. I looked at the two main routes. My streak with Jefferson, because I don't know if he was actually pressing, but his guy was literally directly over him, and I thought maybe it was probably a press. And then I looked at the tight end. They weren't open. Jalen Rager was open for a split, but I took too long to get that ball there. So, sadly, it's going to be a nothing play. Play action look. And we're not going to get that off because, once again, our line sucks. Our line just is not doing the job that it needs to be doing here. Underneath to Rager. I mean, we can use our go for it anywhere, and I'm going to. Really want to run the ball here, but kind of tough. And he left Thielen open. Oh, huge hit. I, lay, I ran right into that. So we really need to score on this drive because that's our one go for. So we can't use another, like, you know, random fourth down anywhere else. And that's a tough one. And good swap by his guy. Maybe should have went with the drag to the right. Haven't run the ball yet, which really is probably a bad look. But maybe here we will. And nice by Dalvin slipping off. Gains about nine. Me taking this long is obviously a, a throw or a, a run anyways. He knows it's a run, but I'm still going to run it. I got to. Don't, don't you dare. I don't know what he's doing with that ball. You get that ball out of there. Justin Jefferson could be looking at a score here. I kind of want, I don't know. And, of course, that's interception. Uh, in perfect, perfect coverage. Our sliders still need work. That should not be locked up at all. Good tackle, good attempt at least. Reddick out for the game with a pulled groin. A lot of injuries out here, I'll tell you. Zidarius dropping back. And, I mean, there's nobody on him. Where is Scene going, dude? Scene keeps dropping back and back and back and back, dude. Like, are you ever going to step up, buddy? Like, at all. Like, you have that kind of speed, but, like, you're 50 yards back on the tight end. And we missed the tackle. Ooh, nice hit. Sue with a hit. And another player injured. Any more? Anyone, you know, anyone else looking to, like, get a, a quick little break here? Or? That's pretty good coverage. He actually threw it. It's a hell of an attempt, but, yeah, it's pretty unlikely. This is a tough blitz to, to counter for us. And that's going to be picked by Kendricks, third of the season. Oh, wrong guy. Oh, Jesus. Wrong guy blocked, but it's all right. Good little play by us. I actually thought he was going to get it, but as soon as the ball left, I don't know if it's because of the accuracy, especially on the run, but... That didn't look so hot after it left. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. It's a good throw to Jalen Rager. They switch him to the wrong guy. We gain a good 15, 17, something. We gain some yards. And that's... I did a noob move. I, I chose a play with one second left. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. That's, like, the one thing I hate in the league. When people do that or in head-to-head -head at all. And I sold. It's the worst move anyone's ever done. We did run a play action off of this last time, so. Love the fact that he uh, pinched the line on a stretch, and we gain a yard on it. Nice. That's the one thing I don't like about Next Gen is, like, everything's so sticky. So if you make a wrong call like he did on that, like, it needs to be punished. And that's a pretty... 
good route and a tough throw that I can't really blame him on. That's harsh, but it is what it is. It's a great read by us, in fairness, but nothing that can be done. It's just the way things go around here. Got Kellamon at quarterback. What do you expect, you know? Man, we missed the throw again. Oh, my. That's brutal. Can't even kick the field goal either. I guess we're going to punt it. Yeah, preseason Mond and preseason Tyree look pretty good. Regular season them, not so great. Not going to use Kirk, though. I can't. I just can't. He's literally going to suck Go down the line. I'd rather lose games because our quarterback sucks, get a top pick and get a quarterback, than to rock with a quarterback that's going to be dead by the next season. Pick it! Patrick Peterson with the pick! Oh, nice little move. Tackle down to the 14 and another player injured. He may run out of players. We even lowered the injury sliders and yet, I guess not. <laughs> First and 10 from the 14. There goes Dalvin. Of course, he gets grabbed by some guy that's still being blocked. At least we gained a few yards. It's always fun. Is this Adam Thielen? It is, but Adam Thielen's going up against a guy. And I don't like guys. I'm sexist. Uh, let's not run the ball here. Touchdown! Bruh, I'm done, dude. I, I, I might have to bench him. He's actually a trash can. He's literally a bot. He's actually the worst player of all time. I might have to bench him for Kirk. This is insane. He's actually the worst player of all time. Kellen Mond is a bot. And a good swap by his safety. You've got to be. They're telling me to go for it. I don't think I can. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't because I'm t doing nothing with the ball anyways. I want some points. Bro, that's crazy. He goes up and good. Tied up at three. On the return. Oh, nice hit. Let's go with Dantzler, even though he's slow as hell. Good try by us. Nice little find to Goddard. Could have a scenario for him, which if he does, I mean, 75 yards already is pretty good way to get it. Is that A.J. Brown? We got to change our lineup. Oh, wrong player. Now I'm Sue over the tackle. Let me switch to him. Come on. Oh, that was interesting. Getting a yard or two with Devontae. Let's actually change our lineup here. We got to go. No, 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 no. Not by overall. Let's go by speed. If you hit the bench a guy because they're too slow, you go right ahead, game. Because I am not in the business of losing. And we're well on our way to being in the business of losing two in a row. And finally, we get some pressure. I won't even call it pressure. I call it coverage sack. Zedarius inbound. We will take it. This could be a huge run. Oh, is that a late hit by our guy? What a hit by Bolden. Did my guy actually hit him late? Nice. Good job, Booth. Gotta love that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh! What? He held on? I think we baited him, and we just overran it a little bit. I, I think we did. It's nearly impossible to, like, cover both, but that was a hell of a play by us. We almost had him. That's a touchdown. Oh, good D, actually. To the two, three. Well, Jalen Hurts doesn't seem to be having any issues throwing the ball. We would have probably missed that throw if that was us. Ain't gonna lie. We had a little wide-open touchdown slant with Thielen and missed it. I'm not gonna run come in on the first play. Oh, wow. He lost a lot of yards. Goal line pitch. Maybe not the best call in the world, but, you know, I'm the one that probably will fail to score a touchdown in this game. So, who am I to judge? <laughs> literally, literally true. Let's get Sue on the other side. Oh, good try. Wish I would have got the pick off the deflection. I thought that's where he'd go with the ball. Didn't know for sure. Damn, I'm gonna bait. I'm gonna sell this out with Booth. I guarantee it. Oh my God, Allen touchdown. I mean, any of the hooks gonna get in there? No. No Hunter sucks, but Daniel uh, or not Daniel, he'd be going against a superstar anyways, and. Zedarius should be more than enough. Most teams don't even have, or at best, one guy like Zedarius, let alone a guy like Daniil and Zedarius. So, no excuses. He also has Fletcher Cox out and the literal, like, list from this game. So, it is what it is. Wang Wu, save us again. Get us on the board. 
Even though it won't matter because we'll fail to score more. Oh, nice little move. And Wangu, the most dangerous return man in the league, gets us to the 40. I don't like running from this, but... Ah, good job, guard. I love that. You just let him in. Nice. It's always fun. Maybe uh, Smith will actually run his route here and not fall down at the line. That'd be cool. Maybe, though. That's that's a lot to ask for. Oh, that was a late, late fight. Didn't really get us there. I mean, I do like the, the Vikings, or not the Vikings, the Patriots playbook better than last week's playbook. Did I sell again? Choose a play when there's, like, no time once again. I do like it better, but it's still not, like, perfect. Like, at all. Kind of just like this base. There's Jalen Rager, and he's a yard short, so if I want to go for this, I have to fake it. And I think he's ready for it, but I don't care. I'm going to run it anyways. And it works! What a play! To the 42 or the 44. Nice. That was a lot of yards, actually. Holy. One of the posts with Jeff. Can't get it out there, and of course we fumble. His ball, nice. Thank you! I'll take it. He's got to have a scenario. He must have a scenario with him. He must. He has to. There's no way he's throwing that any other way. Double drag. And he missed another throw. One more, he's probably out. Just going to be honest. And once again, and maybe when I look back at this, they were all mine, but... And there goes Jalen Rager. Nice play. Finally getting the ball to somebody. That's our team. This play we've run a couple of times now. Oh! Mate, how is that picked? How is that picked? Like, how? How is that picked? Like, that just makes no sense. And Booth, the rookie with a pick. I mean, what like what are you even playing at this point? Like at this point, it's just like I don't even know, dude. Not really trying to do anything, but if I see Elaine, nice catch. Ty Chandler get a backup carry in there. Why not? Nice little move. Didn't really do anything though. Our ball at half, though, so, I mean, it's really anyone's game. Like, I get Irv's not that tall, but, like, my man's is literally not catching anything. Like, the ball was right on him, and he just, he just let it go. Oh, nice hit. Jalen Rager could be looking at a quick throw to Thielen. He's open. Nice little fall down. Nice 12 yards for both plays. Bunch of tight ends in. Don't fumble. I didn't fight or anything. Now, another linebacker of his is injured. This is like an OG play of mine. Yeah, it's impossible to catch that. It's That throw is tough. Right tackle instantly loses because like the, the play action kind of has you running. And it wouldn't even surprise me if the game's coded once again for any sort of run to just be considered like an actual scramble attempt. Would not surprise me. And he drops it. I mean, his guy literally ran through me. No P.I. Like, I just can't score. I just simply can't score. And, I mean, he's throwing four picks, but there's a couple of them are kind of just, like, taking a shot type plays. So, I don't know what to tell you. We're going to have to get back to the drawing board or something. I don't know. I, I guess, you know, if the way Next Gen plays is the way I feel like it's supposed to, short routes, I guess, is the only option. Like, it's that's what the league is nowadays, it seems like. A lot of short plays, and then you can set up a deep shot every once in a while but it's boring but i mean any shot we took over like five yards is borderline picked it's ridiculous awesome oh, good try and i didn't get a switch off he won the stiff arm thing and it gained him literally nothing because it took so long to get developed interesting awesome oh, on this side it's kind of key Oh, good try, Peterson. Good throw. Barely got that in there. Another injury. Nice. More injuries. Running back is wide open. Is that another late hit? That might have actually been me that time. Oh, holding? I guess I'll accept it. Did run a blitz in fairness, so if it took a little long to get there, 
And, you know, we brought a Blitz. Yeah, maybe the hold's legit. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that was a late comeback route. No pressure once again, sadly. Oh, of course he gets a Moss with... Oh my god, dude. It is AJ Brown, actually, in fairness. I thought it was Devante at first. Booth is over there. Maybe should have went for the, the swap. But even then, like, I ran a pl uh, press. And my guy's still step for step with him. Like, oh, good play by Harrison on the Blitz. Just kind of running mad Blitzes. I don't even know. Like, I just feel like we suck without any sort of pressure. And I feel like it's almost impossible to throw into pressure. So, it's like a double win. Good job by Dantzler all over that, actually. Only gain of four. Make sure you go with Scene. And another jump ball. Oh, my God. Jump ball with, like, a 60 overall. He's now in the zone, obviously, because we're getting killed out here. Good move by us. All that fighting to yard. What, gain a yard, too? Oh, our right tackle's injured now. I'm sure that won't make it harder to throw. There we go. Finally hit a throw. No one on that right side. He's still going to blow it up. <laughs> I get maybe I, I didn't notice we even had Chandler in. Dislocated shoulder. That's fun. Uh, I didn't even notice, uh, you know, that we had our backup in. So that might have actually cued him and maybe did actually adjust, in fairness. There goes Thielen. Honestly thought he overthrew it. I really did. I thought it. Mons kind of delivering some strikes this drive, though. I'll give it to him. Run with Dalvin. Insta-sheds. Nice. I haven't seen a single insta-shed the entire game. I know we don't have maybe a guy like Javon Hargrave, but it'd be nice to see one, perhaps. There goes Thielen. Nice little throw. Nice little catch. Moving. At least Thielen showed up. See, he's absolutely... Like, bringing uh, some pressure here. And I guarantee we're still not going to get a throw off. Can't get it off. He literally just brought five and killed us. He made the wrong call. And it worked to his advantage. Fun. Good block. Everyone on the planet knows some sort of variation of this play. And thank God it didn't get out there because Thielen decided not to run. Holy crap, that would have been great. Yep. <laughs> Alright, third and 11. Chance to get uh, off the field. Probably won't do anything with it anyways. And it's wide open all day. It's kind of our fault in fairness. And Kendrick's decided not to, to follow through with the blitz. It's really stupid by Kendrick. He's literally inches from the quarterback. He backs off. And picked off by Booth and a jump ball. 50-50 is like you just don't know who's going to get it, which I know that's why it's called a 50-50, but it's just like previously we got Moss twice, even by Devin Allen, and then that time when he's still in pretty good coverage, you know, we're the ones that get the pick. It's quite interesting. And once again, Jer Javon Hargrave is killing it. And now my other players injure my tight end. Up the middle, Chandler. Go down, thank you. I'm going to hurry up. Can I even run the same play? Just trying to get my backup carries in. Which is that. Broken ribs, nice. I can't hit him. Nice. There you go, Dalvin. And he drops it. <laughs> drops it wide open. <laughs> okay. That's easily picked. Slay's just running back for it. Tackle Jefferson. All right, he's got his guy up. Let's see if Jefferson can beat him. Nope. There goes Tyree against his former team. Throwing it to Davidson, another fellow 6'7 individual. 
That's a really good throw. Look at Tyree delivering, trying to get that number one job next week. Hey, we got out of the, the danger zone slightly. That's kind of crazy. We actually did something. Made that crap where you run away from the o line. How does that work? Like, how does that work? The offensive lineman should just smoke you. Dalvin gets hit stick. Juke move didn't really work there. Because the backup tight end again. Is that three for three? Four for four? Jesus, Tyree, you're killing it. Give Tyree the, the bag already. And he left it again. Davidson. <laughs> what was that hurdle? Now Javarn Hargrave's injured. Let's see if we can actually score from here. Dalvin Cook, you want to catch it this time? He caught it. And we barely scored still. Holy. What an attempt. Dalvin's crushing it. He was able to catch a ball. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not, like, the greatest player in the world. And there was definitely things I could have done that were better. But I don't know if it's our sliders, just next gen in general. But this gameplay is just horrendous. And the fact that our opponent threw five picks who plays, I don't know if he still does, but he normally plays ultimate team, like, all year long, kind of tells me I'm not necessarily wrong to be honest. I, I just, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. You know, seeing some of the scores across the leagues from some of the users that are usually really good tells me something's up. It's either the, the game itself or it's it's the sliders. Good tackle. I mean, I guess I'll call timeouts just to maybe boost up the stat line a little bit, make it look a little better, but as far as winning goes, that's freaking gone. But hey, we scored an offensive drive. It's a good play by us, actually. Kind of overran it a little bit. It's still a good play. We bring in some heat. Thought he would have kept that because he would have had the one-on-one -on -one with the tight end. <laughs> okay. Dude's just mossing me left and right. Like, what a disaster. Oh, what a catch by Jalen. Uh, the fact that we got that off proves that uh, Tyree should be the starting quarterback next week. Simply put. He is the starting quarterback. No one's arguing it. We're all just going to live with it. We're all happy with it. No one's crying. What a catch by Rager. Sadly, we're not going to be able to get out there. It's a good little play. Uh, you know, little drive by Tyree, though. 7 for 7, 100 yards. Even that throw. Throw power must be king because, I mean... He looked better than uh, Mon did, I'll tell you that. Tyree is the starter, I suppose. GG to Rod, though. He threw up a bunch of jump balls. It obviously worked out just about as well as it didn't work out. So, I guess, in a way, you know, he's mixing it up and it's fun throwing up jump balls. But at the same time, it was working as well. So, why not, I guess. Uh, but let's take a look at the numbers. Three touchdowns, five picks. We had four picks with Mon, but Tyree Jackson comes in. You're looking at this numbers and you're like, um, okay, that's, I mean, that's something. Uh, rushing wise, we were both pretty horrendous. Receiving wise, Devin Allen just had three interceptions or three touchdowns, just jump ball and everything, I guess. Uh, defensively, sack totals. I mean, there's injuries left and right. We had pretty much no pressure all game long. Both of us had some interceptions. Booth with two. And that's pretty much it. All right, we're out of the game, and Irv Smith is out for five weeks. Zach Davidson didn't really look great in his replacement, but he, I mean, he got open just as much as Irv did, so can't be too bad. Four weeks uh, of not having Irv. I mean, let a ball sail right over his head, so what do I even give a damn? Answer media question. This is always positive, right? You never, it's never bad. Lost or piling up. What needs to change here? Um, find the guy who asked, because I sure as hell didn't. Didn't ask for that question. But yeah, going against the Lions next week. Uh, Jackson has been on a tear. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he put up like 40 on our opponent we just played against. And uh, his other opponent, who's pretty damn good at the game. So this should be a lot of fun going to next week. And yeah, obviously Tyree Jackson after that game is QB1, without a doubt. There's no question about it. I mean, he just outplayed him, simply put. Uh, made better throws. At some point, do you put in Kirk Cousins? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, we're already 0-2. Why not just tank, right? <laughs> Tanking's obviously not allowed. But at this point, I don't need to tank. I just play. Of course, it doesn't help, once again, that we are playing uh, some pretty good teams early on, obviously. You know, the Eagles didn't even think about it. But Bradbury is probably like... Oh, he's a little lower than I would have thought, but 
What to say, Bradbury felt like he was a damn superstar out there, of course. Pretty good in zone, but he was in man coverage the majority of the game. Slay is also ridiculous. You know, there's some tough teams to play against early on. It's not an easy one. Obviously, you didn't have Fletcher Cox, but, you know, we didn't have Daniil Hunter, and his line is literally made up of multiple really high overalls. And, you know, I was thinking of, like, Zedarius. I'm like, oh, he's got an easy left tackle to play against, and I forgot Jordan Mailata is like a god in the game now, so that's always fun. Uh, it's a tough team, simply put. It's a tough team. We probably should have looked at his roster beforehand. Devin Allen apparently is like the greatest. I wonder if he had a scenario with him. He didn't. That's kind of harsh. It's actually 27. He might not ever. Well, actually, maybe he did. He just didn't click it yet, perhaps, but maybe never gets a scenario because that's kind of an old start. Uh, but yeah, I mean, GG to Rod. I mean, he was taking more shots. Well, I wouldn't say more shots than us, but he took more jump balls than us. But once again, if it works out, you can't even really say, like, oh, look at him. He's taking chances because it actually works. You know, we're throwing picks without taking the damn jump ball. Uh, you know, Jefferson I threw one jump ball with, and, of course, he gets mossed. <laughs> you know, we have really low overall corners, though, and I don't know what their catching is like. But I suppose even in a, you know, a disappointing loss again, we do have, uh, you know, a couple of picks with Booth. I suppose that's something to take away positively. Outside of that, I can't really think of one. Uh, I didn't really see Dancer getting absolutely torched. It was kind of the middle of the field. You know, we had a couple of user picks on him, but we also got beat leaving uh, a couple of zones open uh, in, you know, the middle of the field. That's where he was killing us. So props to him for actually throwing to the middle of the field as, you know, I was trying to as well. But, you know, there's a lot of people that I've seen that, you know, don't really do that. They kind of just throw to the flats only. And, you know, props to him for, you know, actually attacking the middle. And once again, it actually kind of worked. So... Yeah, uh, how many picks have we thrown on the season so far? Like, five? That's actually probably the lowest of the entire league, believe it or not. Uh, passer rating, 45% completion percentage with a passer rating of 26.5. That is what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at the whole league right now. I mean, it's it's something. It surely is something, I'll tell you. But anyways, uh, hopefully I'm not scaring too many of you guys away with the complaining. You know, the game isn't great. But we do have to like, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to start playing like a little sleazer. I'm going to, I'm just going to start doing it. You know, if my quarterback sucks, even though I'm not using the right one, it should be Kirk. My quarterback isn't great and I'm trying to develop him. I shouldn't just be forced to throw it medium or long. It, you know, if we can get wins by throwing it short, I'm going to throw it short. Maybe run the ball more, but once again, you know, Rod's a pretty smart player. And a lot of the times you can pretty much call when we're running and, of course, for, I don't understand why it works, but you literally run away from the offensive lineman and then run back into him, and it's just, it's like goaded in the ground game. Of course, we did stop him pretty well in the ground defense as well. Uh, and, like I said, we've played two really tough teams. Both teams are super stacked in the game, and while we do have some playmakers, we were out without Daniil Hunter, and in general, you know, we're missing the quarterback playmaker. I know Jalen Hurts isn't, like, some super gem, but he is, like, 80s accuracy, super fast, Throw power is a little lacking, to be fair, but like he's like a way better Mond, if that's any consolation anyways. And, you know, has us beat in almost every position outside of like, what, wide receiver maybe and like one safety. Playing against elite corners every week, but now going up against a lesser team at corner. We'll see what happens there. Like I said, he is on a hot streak. Saints matchup could be tough. And then the Bears. That's a game where, uh, you know, we expect to do a lot better. We expect to do a lot better. If we're struggling still after week five... Then there's some major cause for some, con you know, concern. 0 and 2 already though could still legitimately be like missing the playoffs already. Like that's, you know, it is. It's tough to go 0 and 2 out the gate. But I'll try to be a little bit more positive. You know, some things I complain about aren't even the game. Some of it is just on me. But it's just tough because, like, you know, you're expecting certain things to go certain ways. You know, we've had success in this league for I don't even know how many Maddens like in a row. And then we go to next gen here, and I don't know if it's the sliders need to be adjusted, which, based on the league's interceptions, I'd say maybe. Uh, but it's really, really tough to get down the field, and it's really tough to score touchdowns. And I don't mind the quarterback missing. It's just I can't find players open in general. But it also could be me just not trusting my quarterback. So it is what it is. Might even turn off the stupid uh, bar. I don't know what it is that's throwing me off with that damn, like, accuracy bar. But there's just something about it where I feel like I have to press it, like, way early. And, like, I'm just selling with it, I think. I don't know. But then again, 7 for 7, 100 yards with Tyree Jackson. Maybe he was playing a little lax because he doesn't need to give up, you know, 
dink and dimes, or he couldn't allow dink and dimes, and we did get a lot of, you know, 10 to 20 yard plays, but at least there was some positive near the end. We got a couple of picks. We were looking okay on defense at times. It's just the jump ball. We got to maybe get in better position, maybe knock the ball down rather than just trying to pick it every time. And of course, offense, we got to just find what works. Doesn't matter what we want to work. We got to find what actually works. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video, despite the fact that I was complaining. I'm kind of going through the motions at times. You know, at times I'm kind of just like playing the game, and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that commentary thing. That's that's always a thing you need to do. And uh, yeah, we'll get better in game. We'll get better commentary wise. You know, positivity and and uh, you know, just just having a better flow. All right, we're gonna have a better flow going forward. Until like you know, I throw three picks in the first quarter and I start raging again. <laughs> Anyways, at least it's a different style of series, I suppose, where it's not just, like, positivity and people are like, you, you were positive in those Seahawks videos and rebuilds? Um, okay, uh, yeah, 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 I can see it. <laughs> it's like, not really. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, despite the fact that we suck and I'm complaining, I'd appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, second channel, Jump Care Plays, uh, and once again, if you're not new, really appreciate your continued support as you've dealt with this kind of crap for some time and you're still shoveling it with me. Anyways, thanks for watching. All you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.